What's up, YouTube, and what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to week two of the MLPB. Last week, we took on the Green Bay Galades, coached by the commissioner of the MLPB Stealthless, and we beat him. Our keys to victory were our competitive picks. Both Oracorio and Jang Mao showed up, barely giving us the victory. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you check out last week's video. The link will be either in the card at the top right of the screen or at the end of the video there will be a link to it. In today's video, we will be facing off against the Boston Zoruas, coached by at Sly Pokemon. Versus our Frisco Corios, who are 1-0 as we have said. Now, last week the Boston, uh, the Boston Zoruas lost barely, but neither of them really had a bunch of pulls, so he is in for some good pulls. We are going to need some good things today. So before we jump into this, there are two things I'd like to, like to talk about. First off, if you're here either from his channel or if you're just new for the MLPB, thank you so much and welcome. Okay, we do a lot more than TCG on this channel. So check out some things, especially the Pokemon Crystal. Completely randomized Nuzlocke. It is absolutely insane. A link to the most recent video and to the most recent episode and the whole playlist will be in the description. Make sure you check those out. The second thing I want to talk about is at E3, the Pokken Invitational. As you can see, hopefully, I'm wearing my Pokken shirt. I love Pokken. I have always loved Pokken, and there will be so much Pokken on this channel. If you haven't checked out Poke Pokken Deluxe for the Switch, make sure you check it out, and you can tune in here for a lot more high-quality Pokken. Now, let's jump straight into it. So we are traveling to Boston today, and as you can see, we're going to be opening up this Sun and Moon base set pack. Now, traveling to Boston would be pretty cool for me, considering that I'm a Boston Celtics fan in the NBA. However, we're bringing the fire, we're bringing the heat, and we're not here to be nice, okay? Um, you know, Sly was, was being really nice on Twitter and wishing me luck and, you know, made the best print. I'm not doing that, you know? Um, I'll say have fun. I won't say good luck, but I'll say have fun. So, since we are the away team, we only get one competitive pick. So, through some strategy and some thinking, um, we do have to go on the bench. Now, um, Oracorio is one of our starters. So, like, boom. Like, we, we had that one. Cheng Mo was a very easy pick as well. Now, for our competitive pick today, since we only get one, we're going to be going with Toracat. Okay, and it's this Toracat right here. There's only one Toracat card. So you can't really get wrong. I will, again, I'm not explaining my thinking behind it because I don't want people to pick up on it. Actually, let's move this over here. You can still see my San Francisco pin. So, okay, all looks good. So let's go ahead and dive in. So like I said last week, uh, you know, I watched all the videos and, uh, you know, I, I hope that all of the MLPB watches all of the videos. Um, just because it brings hype and again if you're here from his channel welcome thank you so much for checking out the video i certainly hope you enjoy it um you know last week we had some great luck so we are you know it's very possible that we don't have that same luck today um but you know we're we're very hopeful we're very hopeful um so let's go ahead and whoops let's pop this out and pop this out ah and pop this out wonderful so let's take a look. We got our Pikachu coin. Pikachu looking nice. Pikachu looking nice. Pikachu looking nice. Oh yeah. That looks real nice. Throw that over here. We also have this Toga Demaru. Now, why did I go with Toga Demaru over um what was the other one? Over Litten when I picked the Tora Cat? Well, I feel like Litten would give us more luck, which I want to save for later in the season. So I do have a Litten three pack that we're going to be opening. But anyway, moving on. I held that out for way too long. All right. What do we got? What do we got? I feel like I'm going super slow today. I apologize for that. I'm just so hyped off that Pokken stuff. So we have a Lunala, we have Incineroar, and we have Decidueye. So we're going to open it up in this order. First up, Lunala. There was a lot of hype in the last episode in the comments, and man, I I appreciate that so much. You know, we're we're trying, we're trying, we're trying to, to bring some hype. So uh, let's go ahead and oh yeah, we're gonna do three and three. We're gonna call this a uh, lightning energy. Oh, let's go. That should be a, a that should be a point in itself. 
let's blast through these real quick. We're looking for competitive picks. We need that Torah cat. Is he in here? Ooh, Litten. See, if I would have had two picks, actually, Litten's gonna set aside. It's gonna go in my personal collection. Can hold on to all those. Reverse Arcanine, which is a rare. That's one point. Followed by a Golda. Next up, let's go into the Incineroar. Now, I'm gonna need a lot more than one point to win. Uh, I think. I think I'm going to need a GX this time. I think I'm going to need a GX today. Now, I don't want to see the code card. I don't want to see the code card. Hopefully, you didn't see the code card. I got to be more careful about that. All right, how about this uh, fairy energy? Ooh, close. It's purple, pink. They're, they're close. They're close. So, what do we got in this one? Another Litten. That's going to that's gonna bite me. That's going to bite me that I didn't pick Litten. Or Rowlet, actually. I almost picked both of those. That's okay, that's okay. Reverse Hollow Rare Golduck. So that's another point. And a rare, a Hollow Rare Polyrath, which is two points. So we're up to four, which is okay. I just have a feeling that Sly's gonna get a, um, I have a feeling he's gonna get a GX. So I need, I, I gotta get something. I gotta get something. I gotta get something. Okay, I don't think you saw that one. I didn't see that one, obviously. How about this fire energy? Dark energy, okay. Okay. This is so nerve-wracking. This is so nerve-wracking. Alright, come on. Come on, Torcat. Come on, Torcat. Where are you at? Where are you at, Torcat? Passimian, I almost picked Passimian as well. Crab Brawler in the last card is a Hariyama. Oof. I don't know if we're gonna pull this one off. So we got Polyrath, we got Golduck, and we got Arcanine. That's a total of four points. So you gotta make sure that you check out his video. His video will have been in a card at some point um, during the video, and it will also be at the end uh, and in the description everywhere. You gotta find that, and then you gotta let me know who won, okay? And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe. Um, this wasn't our best pack, but four points. Ugh, I'm a little worried. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So um, I, I, I hope Sly has fun opening his packs. I hope he doesn't have good luck, uh, but we will certainly find out. So thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe so you can see a whole bunch more. Next week we will going, be going up against, hold on, let me tell you in just a second. Next week we will be going up against the Louisville Noibats led by at time woven and that will be on sunday at 3 p.m central time so laugh for the last time thank you so much for watching i hope you have a blessed day